Welcome to the AFR Saints channel, where we provide you daily content on your favorite team, the New Orleans Saints. Do us a favor and hit that subscribe button. Be sure to leave your comments below and smash that like button. Who that? All right, the week one uh, injury report, the first injury report week one uh, has been published for uh, the Saints and the Falcons. They'll play Sunday at noon. You go pull that up, Paul, if you would. Uh, surprise, 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 right there at the top of the list, Traquan Smith with a groin injury. The gift that keeps on giving. Why is he still on the roster? Uh, did not... Uh, practice, nor did Dwayne Washington, Paulson Adebo. Uh, that's the one we'll circle and come back to. Uh, Landon Young did not practice. Tanner Owen, who is the undrafted rookie free agent that they uh, uh, that they signed to the active roster after the first round of cuts, also did not practice, but that is non-injury related as it was designated. Uh, Michael Thomas, Eric McCoy, Pete Warner, JT Gray, all limited, but all practiced. Uh, Adebo is the interesting one because, of course, uh, Paulson Adebo had the ankle injury. When he met with uh, reporters, though, last week, he kind of smirked and smiled and hinted that the fact that he was going to be ready to go. But not practicing on a Wednesday is a little bit of an alarm. If he's not practicing on Thursday, then it's full-on sirens. So... We will have to keep in, uh, a close eye there on uh, on Paulson Adebo because if Paulson Adebo is not ready to go, then that does change the whole dynamic of the week and the secondary for the Saints, and you're going to rely on um, on young guys in a hurry. Um, so, But if Adebo can't go, your boundary corners would be Lattimore and Bradley Roby. How they figured out everything else, Alante Taylor would clearly factor in somehow, some way, in a big way, but you cross that bridge when you get there. But... Um, uh, did not uh, Paulson Debo did not practice. You'd hope for him to be limited um, on Thursday. As far as the Falcons, only three: Parker Hesse, who's a tight end, um, non-injury related; Darren Hall with the quad, and uh, Drake London, the first-round draft pick, limited with the knee injury that's held him out a bit. Arthur Smith, head coach of the Falcons, did uh, give an update on Drake London. Where's Drake at, London? Uh, progressive. He didn't go on IR, so yeah, he's progressive. Check on him. Mm -hmm. Do you anticipate having him available? So, yeah. We'll see what it looks like. <laughs> he does not sound like he's happy or wanting to give any updates about Drake London. But that's a massive question mark for these Falcons, right? I mean, Russell Gage is now in Tampa. A year ago, obviously, you lost Julio Jones. You've got Kyle Pitts. You draft Drake London, but he's injured. Uh, Marcus Mariota, who's he going to throw the ball to? I mean, it's it's a very – I mean, Calvin Ridley's out for the entire year because of gambling. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a gigantic question. It's just a massive question. For Atlanta, who is Marcus Mariota going to throw the ball to in this ball game? Um, the other thing, obviously, is how the Saints look under Dennis Allen, and uh, Arthur Smith was asked that question when he met with the media. Well, he'll have his own flavor, but uh, he's done a terrific job the last couple of years defensively. They know who they are; they're a veteran team. They've got a terrific front, and they roll those guys in here, uh, in in there. Uh, I think they got one of the smartest middle linebackers in, in football, and uh, you know they got. Pretty good corners. They, they've invested a lot in the defensive backfield, and they'll look a little bit different at safeties, but they'll, they'll be sound. I know that. Uh, the smartest middle linebacker in football that he talked about was Demario Davis. Now, who lines up next to Demario Davis is clearly going to be one of the more interesting questions. We're all hoping that Pete Werner is 100% healthy and ready to go. He was limited on the practice report with that groin injury, and who backs him up? Um, we know the list. It's uh, it's Caden Ellis, who would likely be the next man in, and the other uh, active linebackers are Andrew Dowell and Zach Bond. Zach Bond has been not good in his time in New Orleans, and Dowell has been primarily a special teams contributor, and when he's had to play linebacker, it's quite honestly not been good. Uh, the same goes for Chase Hansen, who was promoted to the active roster uh, from the practice squad over Eric Wilson and Nafai Sewell. Uh, this was a little surprising to me. So they promoted Hanson. Um, there was only 52 on the active. They promoted Hanson to make it 53 and then signed Jake Lutton, uh, the quarterback out of um, out of Oregon State, who's been in the league. Now it was a six-round pick back in 2020 of Jacksonville. He spent time in Jacksonville, Seattle, and Miami. Uh, I'll give you a thought on the quarterback in just a second. But, well, I, I guess real quickly, I mean, this is just obvious what you're doing there with Jake Lutton. I mean, he... He played in three games in the COVID year in 2020 with Jacksonville. He threw two touchdowns and six picks. 
completed just 54% of his passes. He's a, he's a practice arm is what he is. I mean, he's just a guy there to throw practice to throw balls in practice. So your so your your two primary quarterbacks don't need Tommy John uh, by the middle of the season. So if it ever gets to a point that you would need a third quarterback, it ain't going to be him. So you'd you'd figure that out when you cross that bridge, but um, they signed Jake Lutton to the practice squad. He'll be, you know, a guy that just throws passes in practice to make sure Jameis and Andy Dalton don't overuse their arms. The bigger thing here was promoting uh, Hanson. Um, and I think, you know, in my opinion, again, the coaches, you trust their evaluation. But for me, it's more I've seen Chase Hanson try to play linebacker in an actual NFL game, and it wasn't very good. In, in, a, in a Sunday game, not talking about preseason. And it's almost like the unknown of Sewell or the established Wilson feels like the better option. Remember, Sewell's a rookie who got first team reps in that third preseason game and the le- the week leading up to it. They were running him out there with the first team because I think they wanted to see how it looked with him lining up next to Demario Davis. And you know, obviously didn't make the 53, but they signed him to the practice squad. And part of it is sort of that unknown is more intriguing whenever – if you haven't seen a guy do it yet, rather than having seen a guy try and, and not succeed, you almost go with the unknown because you know the other the other option is a no. And and Hanson is no. I don't want Hanson out there playing linebacker on, on a Sunday. Sewell could do it. The thing I'll remind you too about Sewell is, and this is Panay Sewell's younger brother, by the way, he went to Utah. Um, Nafai Sewell uh, is a converted safety. What is the big question slash concern issue with Zach Bond throughout his time in New Orleans? It's the fact that he can't cover. He was an edge rusher at Wisconsin, sort of outside linebacker rusher, but when they've asked him to drop in coverage, which is what you you need for linebackers in this defense, something DeMario Davis does exceptionally well, that's where Zach Bond has just been completely lost. Well, Sewell was a safety. He's a converted safety. He can cover. I would almost think he'd be better in that role. Um, so I would I'd almost rather just see you run to Faisal out there to see if it would work as opposed to running some of that out there that you know it, it can't work. And then Eric Wilson is the other one. And Eric Wilson is intriguing because that's a guy that we've also seen do it. We've seen Eric Wilson do it on football Sundays. He's a former, you know, uh, he, he's in his sixth year. He's played five years in the league. He's played in 78 games. He started 27 times. In 2020, the COVID year in Minnesota, he started 15 games, had 122 tackles, and eight TFLs, three sacks. Like He was a very productive inside backer that year in Minnesota in 2020. So, by the way, if you're looking for, okay, who replaces Quan Alexander? Because that's what we're talking about. You know that Demario Davis is solidified, and you're trying to replace Quan. Now, Pete Werner's the guy, but if Pete Werner's injured, who's the backup there? Well, Quan has had one 100-tackle season in his career. That was back in 2016. Eric Wilson did it two years ago in 2020. Had 122 tackles. Younger player who, when given the opportunity to be a starter, was a very productive player in Minnesota. I'm not telling you that he's a better option than Pete Werner. What I'm telling you is... If you need an option after Pete Werner, he's better than Chase Hansen, the Sewell, Zach Bond, and Andrew Dowell. I'd be curious if you had to make Caden Ellis a full-time starter, what it would look like with Caden Ellis because he's been good at times. But I, 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 it's bizarre to me. I feel like you've got – the only thing this tells me is they're confident Pete Werner's going to play and that Caden Ellis is their number three. But if you get to a point – where you need a, a linebacker to play on the field, not a special teams option, because Hanson, we've seen, has been a good special teams player. But if you need another linebacker to go give you meaningful reps and, and snaps, the two guys that you passed on, I think, are better options than the guy you promoted. So, And certainly better than Zach Bond, who his time in New Orleans has just been a, a categorical failure for a third-round pick. And what the expectations are, the fact that he just hasn't emerged is really, really troubling. Uh, maybe this year three will will be when he sort of hits his stride. I'm skeptical to say the, the very least, but um, let's keep an eye on those other guys if it comes down to it. But the Saints have uh, promoted Chase Hansen from the practice squad to the active roster and they've signed quarterback Jake Lutton 
there as uh, to the practice squad as sort of the, uh, the practice arm, as it were. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Please leave your comments. I love to interact. And be sure to hit the red subscribe button below.